So the last thing that I wanted to share with you before we continue where we left off is the actual formula for how to succeed. For real, no cheap tricks, no shortcuts, just the raw formula. This of course depends a little bit on whether your definition of success is more internal or external. Internal success can be whatever you think is important to you. If you create a cool work of art and it makes you happy and that's all that matters, then I'd say you were pretty successful and there's nothing wrong with that. But as soon as your definition of success involves other people, following, buying, respecting, or supporting your work, then the rules change. If I'm running a small indie game project and I have three people working under me who are depending on the success of the project to build their resume and pay for rent, then when the project fails and bills are due, if I say some bullshit like, well, sorry, it looks like we worked four years for nothing, but I feel like we were a success, so don't worry. Being content with internal success just becomes irresponsible. As soon as other people are involved or you start to create a community, it is no longer about your internal personal success. It's everyone's success that is now integrated into that. And if you want to respect the investments that people have made in you, then it's in your best interest to start to focus on objective success. Objective success is very straightforward, and it is run by rules that we live by in the world. There are three things you need to succeed. Hard work, consistency, and improvement. And you need all three if you want to move up in the world. And I'll explain why. Let's start with the first point. A lot of people think in order to succeed, you just need hard work. But that is only 33% true. Yes, hard work is required. But if you are not consistent or you are not improving, you will be stuck working hard in the same place for 10 years. Blind hard work without improvement or consistency is not going to get you anywhere. The second point consistency. This is not negotiable. If you work hard for one month and improve really fast, but then you get lazy for the next nine months, you are not going to get very far. I dare say consistency is the most important of the three. In my experience, it's better to work consistently 15 to 30 minutes a day on your passion than to grind all day for five days and burn out for the next three weeks. People love familiarity. People love consistency and people love reliability. It's comforting to know that someone is always going to be in a certain place at a certain time. And if there's one thing you can take away from this video, remember that consistency is faster than grinding. But of course, they work very well together if you have the mental fortitude to do both. Last, improvement, also known as growth. This is the most difficult one for people to learn because it forces people to be honest with where they stand in the minds of the world. Improvement itself requires three things, clear objectives, measurable results, and a deadline. This is the reason that most people get stuck. Today, people do not like to be clear with what they want or what they're aiming for. And this is a mental defense mechanism because in their mind, it protects them from failure. If you're never clear with exactly what your goals are, then you really can never fail because even when you do, you can always wiggle your way out and say, well, that's not really what I was aiming for. But this defense mechanism is also a wall preventing you from being able to navigate and hit your target. Because the truth is, if you do not know how far away from the target you were, it is impossible to make adjustments to get closer to it. This is why your improvement has to be objective and clearly based in measurable reality. Make a goal, any goal. If I'm a YouTuber and I get two to 3,000 views per video, maybe next month, I'm gonna try and raise that to four to 5,000 views per video. There are other YouTubers who easily get more views per video than I do, so I need to see what are those YouTubers doing and start making adjustments to my own workflow to see if I can get a little closer to my goal. And that's what these concrete numbers are for. At the end of next month, I can see whether the average view count for my videos stayed the same or reached the 4K that I was hoping for. And if I don't reach my goal, I can go in deep and look for reasons as to maybe why that is, so I can try again and do better next month. You need to apply this philosophy to your own situation. If you're an artist looking to build a following, find some concrete numbers to go by. Maybe you have 20 followers right now. Set a goal. See if you can get 25 followers by the end of next month. If you're working hard and you're consistent, but you are not growing, it probably means that you need to improve what you are doing. This is a great opportunity to just ask people who do follow you, what would you like to see more from me in the future? How could I improve my work? Ask them 
what would I have to do for you to say, wow, this is cool, I'm retweeting this? Of course, you'll get a mixed bag of answers and some will be more useful than others, but the point is to try different things and when you find something that works, integrate it moving forward. If you find something that's holding you back, remove it going forward. Every time you do this, you will see improvement and your viewers will see it too. So remember, clear goals, clear deadlines, measurable results. These are the tools required to make improvement. And remember, improvement is made from mistakes. Do not be afraid to fail. Figure out why you failed and by how much. If you keep doing this, you'll make progress. And progress is what leads to success. I hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.